Hello, my name is Nicholas, and I'm with Village Tackle. And today I'm going to show you how I tie on a mustad treble hook here. What we're going to be tying is uh, the colors purple with a white accent, and then we're going to use a silver crystal flash. So I have the hook tied, or excuse me, secured in the vise. Just uh, make sure that that's all parallel there. I'm going to go ahead and grab the thread. Make the thread base. And this hook here, uh, this mustad hook in particular, is uh, carbon steel. And now we have our thread base on. I'm going to go ahead and hit that with a little bit of head cement. Make sure get that going. What I'm doing is I'm rotating that vise to make sure that that head cement stays even and not create a bump. Because uh, if what it would do is, you know, I put it on a fair amount, it would create a bump in there and it would uh, actually affect how the hair will lay evenly. So I'm grabbing a clump of purple bucktail deer hair. Go ahead and measure that. Pretty happy with that. And just gonna pinch in between those two barbs. Give it a nice secure hitch there. I'll go ahead and hit that with a little bit more head cement. Using our UV light to cure that. I'm going to grab a little bit more purple bucktail hair here. Let's go in between the those other barbs, just measuring. Sliding right behind that hook eye there. Grab some more purple. Again, just measuring. What I like to do is I like to make sure that we're using the tips of the bucktail for this. So that uh, really leaves a nice action in the water. You know, the, the tips of the bucktail are pretty soft compared to the up at the top. Um, you know, towards the hair of the tail, or the hide of the tail rather. Okay, just kind of measuring, making sure that we're going to cover the shank adequately. Just kind of pinching that off in there. That looks really good. We're just going to put a couple hitches in there. I really personally like these Mustad uh, carbon steel hooks. They're very sharp. So if you're not careful, at times, you can cut your thread. And at Village Tackle, we've done that quite a bit, actually. So we definitely have learned to keep from doing that. Okay, I've got that good and colored in. I'll go ahead and add some white for accent. Now the the white that I'm going to add, it's it's really not a whole lot, but um, it's enough to really kind of just show and break up that contrast of the purple. What I like to do is set that right in the middle of those barbs, just like so. And as I said, this is not the same amount that we put in as purple, because it's just an accent. Let's add that right there. Okay. The thread I'm using is a UTC 70 
red thread. I found that that really is a good thread for us to use. It's uh, easy to control. Uh, it doesn't build a huge amount of bulk. Because you got to keep in mind, as the more you add, the more you're closing up this gap in between the hook point and the shank. And it um, will cause a problem down the road when you are trying to put a hook in your fish, you know. This way you can get that deep penetration in there. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little bit of cement on there. Hit it with our UV light. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our silver uh, flash of blue accent. Or crystal flash. Grab a couple strands of that. This just gives it that extra sparkle. It's going through the water. Again, I'm only just adding just a little bit. Not really going overboard. Just a hint that's there. Do one more. Oops, have to pull that back around. There we go. Tie that off right behind the hook eye. Go ahead and snip that. cement on those threads just to make sure that that's good and secure. What we're going to do is we're going to come in with our 210 denier thread. And what I like to do is I like to use this thread to finish our heads off. It lays flat and um, really keeps that head nice and tapered. Don't build too much bulk, and sometimes, you know, like in this case, I'm using that as a filler for that little bump that's in the front where we tied all our hair. And the nice part about using a 210 denier is it is strong, and so we really can crank on it, which I'll show you here. Go. Down there. Like I said, we're just really paying attention and trying to keep that nice and even. We'll put these hitches towards the rear. Okay. Go ahead and snip that off. I do believe we'll just go ahead and finish this up with some head cement. Go on right behind the threads under the hair and flash a little bit just to give it that extra secure. Just gently roll on it, kind of even it out. All that head cement. And then we're going to hit it with the UV light. Make sure it's good and hardened. Okay, and we'll do the white test here. It looks good. Give it a little bit of dress and trim. There you have it. This is a purple and white with a Silver Crystal Flash Accent. Again, my name is Nicholas. I 
with Village Tackle. And we just tied a purple and white with silver accent on a Mustad treble hook.